of a Humboldt Senate meter, one of the uh, probably least used uh, pieces of test equipment in uh, probably CB radios, but uh, I think it should be one of the most used pieces of test equipment. Um, now you'll frequently see me doing when I do videos on uh, receiver sensitivity, how well a radio receives. I will be using the communications test set over here, and we're taking Synad measurements. Well, this little guy right here, this is a Motorola Synad meter. Kind of clear, made by Motorola. Um, and a uh, buddy over at the radio shop, he wants to make one. Um, he was going over a few different schematics for one. I said, well, I have, I have some of these, um, kind of collecting dust. He said... Uh, you know, I, I actually sent him a copy of the schematic for this and the, the owner's manual. Um, and he just wanted to see what the inside of this looked like. You know, the circuit board, you know, give him some uh, design layout ideas. And one of the main things he needed to know was the uh, any specifications on the actual meter movement itself. Because the, uh, the schematic doesn't list the uh, full scale uh, this is a, I have to look at it, once I get it unhooked, I'll, I think it was 100 microamps full scale. Um, but uh, in any case, I wanted to also cover, not just so much just to show him the inside, to give him some ideas for layout, but what exactly this does. Um, so, now, when, you'll see, when you see me have mine hooked up over here, now this, this unit does all kinds of audio measurements, distortion analysis, it'll do you know, signal to noise, signal plus noise over noise, and SYNAD measurements and whatnot. Um, I prefer the SYNAD measurement over all over measurements because we're dealing with two-way communications. Now, if we were just dealing with, uh, you know, audio signals, you know, a, an audio signal being generated in one piece of test equipment, and we want to measure... Um, measure that that would be one thing but when we're doing dealing with two-way communications you end up with all kinds of noise and distortion the problem is is all of those other measurements don't take into account distortion there's sn stands for signal and noise doesn't do anything about distortion the synad measure uh, synad measurement is a, a measurement of the of the signal uh, the noise and the distortion component, um, so it's more meaningful. And what what is commonly known in the industry is the pretty much the benchmark standard is 12 dB synad. So what you do is, as you you know, with your signal generator or whatever you're using, you inject a, a modulated signal. So if you're working on an AM radio, you'd inject a a, a carrier modulated with a 1,000 hertz tone into your radio. And then you just connect, in the case of this one, it has the input here, and I've got a little cable. Actually, I just have mine set up, so I don't even need a speaker externally. I just have a dummy load hanging down here. It's just uh, two 4-ohm resistors in series. But, so I can, I don't have to worry, you know, I can use that as the dummy. It has internal speaker as well, but in any case, that just plugs into the external speaker jack on the back of the radio. In the case of this one, you just hook the, you know, you can just hook these terminals up directly across the uh, the speaker terminals inside your radio. That's this. That's what this is designed to do. It's safe to hook up directly across the speaker jacks, and then you turn the volume up. And what you want to do is is continue to decrease the signal going into the radio for that right there, 12 dB synad. That's what actually what it's showing right at the moment. Actually, it's fluctuating around because of the the audio generator I have it hooked up to is kind of a eh. I actually picked one that I know is slightly noisy, so you can see it every once in a while the needle will fluctuate. That's because that's that signal generator is a little bit noisy, which is perfect for this because it's it's you know it, it shows it's actually moving. Um, but ideally, what you want is 12 dB synad. It's pretty much commonly understood that 12 dB synad is the minimum measurement required for intelligible to be able to clearly understand intelligible speech over the noise floor. So in other words, you know, because when you're listening to the radio, there's always going to be some background. Unless the guy's sitting right beside you and he was completely squelched out all the, the background noise, there's always going to be some, you know, background noise. The 12 dB synad represents the minimum amount of signal required for you to be able to actually hear clearly. 
someone talking above that noise floor. That's what 12 dB synad means. Now you can hear with less than that. So the actual measurement, there's no such, you, you can't get lower than 1 dB synod. That's basically the starting point is 1 dB synod. Just, and then, so what you want, because it's a positive going measurement. So anything higher than 12 is great. Um, so, you know, if you can get 12 dB synod at 0 0.05 microvolts input, you've got a fantastic receiver. You'll see a lot of radios might rate, and unfortunately a lot of manufacturers don't actually list this measurement. They'll, they'll list signal-to-noise, uh, different signal-to-noise ratio measurements, but they don't list the Synad measurement. Now, good radios will. Motorola usually does because <laughs> Motorola's, they're not afraid of their specs. They know, they know what they're building. But when it comes to CBs, yeah, a lot... <laughs> You'd be really hard pressed to find a, a specification sheet for a CB radio that actually lists synad measurements. But uh, so what I actually have here is I have it hooked up, so you can see there's actually what's going in here. I have an audio signal generator, or not just audio; it's just a signal generator hooked up. The this, this twin lead red and black wire goes in here, and I just also have the oscilloscope hooked up across those terminals. So that's actually the signal going into it. And like I say, this is looking for a perfect 1000 hertz tone. So what I'm going to do is, is actually come over to the signal generator and change the frequency. So hold on a second. And you'll see as I change the frequency, the synad measurement goes down. And if I go the other direction, come back, eventually get to a point where, you know, right there's perfectly a thousand if we keep going in the other direction with the frequency and if you watch over here on the oscilloscope you'll see you can see the frequency changing there okay so uh, that's what that's what you you use one of these things for it's a real simple instrument to use um, you know it, and I think just so much more meaningful when two-way communications receive measurements. Um, like I say, you'll see the big manufacturers like Motorola, they're proud of their Synad measurements, so they'll usually have published specs. A lot of CB radios, yeah, they don't list it because in a lot of cases, especially a lot of these more modern radios, they have a hard time getting a good uh, a good reading. But uh, I think it's 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 so much more preferred because... It takes it. It's also a measurement of distortion. That's one thing that a lot of the other uh, measurement ratios don't take into account is distortion. And two-way communications distortion can be a huge problem. So the synad measurement, and that's what the S I N A D. S I is the signal. N stands for noise, and A is and, and D is for distortion. So that's, that's where they came up with the acronym SYNAD. It's Signal to Noise and Distortion. So now for you, buddy. Let me get this little critter unhooked here. Turn it off. Get it unplugged. I know, buddy, you wanted to see the actually see the inside of this thing. So... You can see it's not ex an extremely complicated circuit. It's mainly comprised, the main, main components in here, you can see LM, uh, what do we got, 348, yeah, LM348, and yeah, another LM348, so a pair of LM348s. That's basically the heart of it, a bunch of passive components here. Resistors, caps, a couple transistors, diodes, you know, there's really not much, much to it. Um, so, you know, there's the, the top of it. And these are the uh, calibration pots for actually calibrating this. And then the underside. There's the bottom of the board. Good old heavy glass board construction, really nice heavy boards. And then the meter movement, uh, and you can see this was made in 1986, it looks like. Yeah, Full-scale deflection, 100, yeah, microamps. 
so yeah there that's the thing you needed to know buddy was the what meter movement so yeah it's a full scale deflection at 100 microamps so very sensitive meter movement because usually in a lot of meters you'll find like you know one milliamp full scale deflection this one's a hundred hundred microamps so but there you go there you go. and then the inside just a pair of banana you know, or dual purpose jacks power switch LED indicator a little small power supply circuit not much to it just a you know, filter caps and fuses transformer bridge rectifier down there but uh, so there you go like I say um, you see these occasionally on uh, on the eBay I know the Sinatter uh, never I don't know why I've never you know, owned lots of shit but it's something I've never gotten around to owning were the uh, uh, God, what the hell's the name of that company? Helper, Helper Industries, I think. The Sinatter, what is it? Sinatter three meters um, are popular. Never owned one of those. Like I say, I've I've had I got a couple of these, and I used to use these all the time until I got a communications test set that had the uh, Sinad measurement feature built in. So you know, I just kind of keep these for backup now in case I ever run into problems. Um, and they are nice because they're you know small and you know. Yeah, I could actually use this portable. You can see there, 12 VDC input. So you know how you could use this thing on the go. Uh, so there you go. There's a Synad meter. What the one looks like on the inside, and basically a little bit about what uh, you know what you do. Like I say, they're simple to use. It just hooks up across the speaker jacks. And turn the volume up, and what you're looking for is minimum 12. The more, the better. You know, so the higher the meter meter reading, the better. But you, uh, the the main benchmark goal is 12 dB. That's the main main one you want to get. Minimum amount of signal to attain 12 dB synad. And you know, the lower the input signal and the higher the synad measurement, the better, because that's the that basically means the better res your receiver is. So I uh, hope that helps you out there, buddy.